protection, God, that you would give them the necessary things to protect them, Father, so that they don't take this home to their families, that you would watch over them, God, as they're taking care of those who need the medical attention so badly, God. We pray and lift them up for provision that you would pour favor, Father, but Father, we pray that they would see you, God. They would see you in this, that you're providing and that you're taking care, Father, that you are there and you are present, God. We pray for provision for their families, God, not just in resource, but financial, Father, for the hospitals. We pray that this country would come together, lifting each other up, loving our neighbor as ourselves, God, as you call the second greatest commandment, God. We want to worship you, and then we want to love our neighbor. Father, lift these people up. Father, bring them everything that they need, God, to take care. Protect them. Keep them from getting this virus, Father, so they can do what they've been called to do, God. So the skills and the ability that you've given them, the wisdom that you've given them to take care of these people, God, you would let it work through them, God. And we pray through all of this, God, that you will be glorified, that people will see you, God, not us, but you, God. You are the light in us to lift up the name of Jesus, God. So we pray for provision. We pray for every need that they have, God, that you would take care of them. We come here today beseeching you, God, on their behalf, God, that you would protect them. Father, we love you so much. You are the way maker. You're the promise keeper. You're the light in the darkness, God. And we worship you. We love you, Father. And together we're all here doing this in the name of Jesus. So, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, the powerful name of Jesus, the healing name of Jesus, we pray all these things. And everybody said together in a loud voice. Amen. Amen. 